good thing you didn't end up with that Ponzi scheming asshole, Joey. XOXO Mom and Brick. Hi, I'm Gilbert Gottfried. Today I'll be reading Decline Cameo Requests. These are not requests that, that I got, but they were declined by someone, and I'm going to read them to you now. Can you make really weird noises for like 20 seconds and then yell, Baby Boy? After that, just say, happy 11th birthday, TJ. Ah! Ugh. Ah! E! Ah! <laughs> Baby boy. And happy 11th birthday, TJ. I hope it's uh, an 11-year-old uh, that's uh, not too disturbed already. Because this could pretty much push him over the edge. Sorry for this being weird, but I'm doing a collection of these. Can you say pee pee poo poo in a British accent as angry as possible? Ladies and gentlemen. Let me try this. Pee pee. Poo poo. How's that, huh? Huh? Now he's uh, trying to get a collection. This is such a common hobby. I must get about uh, 10 or 20 of these a day. Your show is so heartwarming and inspired me to re enroll into medical school. It would mean so much to me if you could blow a kazoo into the camera and waddle away like a confused duck. This one, I would have to go out and search for a kazoo. I, you know, you'd be surprised how many people don't have them. It would be a happy kazoo, I guess, if you blew it. <coughs> he was stabbed in the thigh, but is fine. Can you tell him sorry he got stabbed? and then give him double thumbs up and say, hey, like the fonts. Bonus points if you wear a leather jacket. Hey, and so is that something Henry Winkler would do? I don't think so. Now is the person sending this, are you the one that stabbed him in the thigh? Our friend likes to be called the rat, and it's really weird. While we are all concerned for him, this is super funny. Can you say something like, hey, rat, I bet you want some cheese. And then make noises like you are a rat digging through trash. I'd have to practice rat noises. I think that guy from Police Academy made a whole career out of that. Just that sound alone. I want to use your voice as my alarm to wake me up in the morning. Can you please shout, wake up and get ready for work, you big baby. Time to crawl out of that little crib and grab some milk and start your day. Oh, what's that? You're too tired? Well, deal with it. You're not a baby. You're an adult. Say it with me. I'm not a baby. I'm an adult. I will get out of bed. Why the other person declined it is beyond me. I could have made money off this. I was a smoke detector in a commercial once. I would uh, gladly be a smoke detector in real life if they paid me. Like, get out! Get out! You'll burn to death! Will you say congrats on your engagement? 
You and Kevin were made for each other. I am so glad you finally found someone as talented as you. Good thing you didn't end up with that Ponzi scheming asshole, Joey. XOXO mom and brick. I think this is going to be a happy engagement. Everything here reeks of love and happiness. Can you ask my friend Allison what possesses her to put mayonnaise on a teriyaki chicken sub? Absolute weirdo. That grosses me out. Could you ask her the most rewarding part of being a volunteer at a dog shelter is uh, the person who sends the request that uh, doesn't know what they're talking about. She does great work in dog shelters and what she does there, I don't want to. I think she rubs mayonnaise on stray dogs. Can you do a video of you ripping a fart for me to send to my brother for his birthday? I do this kind of stuff to f with him. I figured you would be game enough to do it for $45. LOL. Make sure it's a solid fart too. If I was one of those people who could fart on cue, I guess I'd figure, eh, what the hell if they're paying? A solid fart might be a problem because you never know. You're hoping it's just a fart. Please roast the following. I'll roast all of them. Caleb, you're dumb. Henry, you're creepy. Brian, you're smelly. Grandma, you're old. Dave, you're weird. Dave S, you're weirder. Grandpa, you're dead. Ah, uh, stepdad Keith, you're soft as butter. Amy, you're scary. Mom, uh, you should get anger management and Ted, daddy long legs. See how he did that with no preparation. Anything I could make a buck off, I do it. Uh, some I would do, some I would have to practice farting in the kazoo while wearing a 1950s Fonzie jacket.